Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some news regarding NATO to bring to you. So we're going to be talking about Jen Stoltenberg in this video. He is NATO's Secretary General or their Chief, their Leader of the Alliance. And he was recently in an interview with The Telegraph just over the weekend. It got published yesterday on Sunday and now we've got reports talking about this today. He's coming out and saying that NATO is in talks right now to deploy more nuclear weapons, that apparently they've got a lot of them sitting in storage and they want to start uh, deploying them, excuse me, and preparing to use them in a nuclear conflict. Now we know right now, you know, Russia is starting to do lots of tactical nuclear war drills. They're doing that with Belarus right now. There's been lots of nuclear threats. So I, I understand that Russia is a nuclear threat to NATO. But also, apparently, this is also regarding China and North Korea. So North Korea, we know that they are preparing their country for war. They have been for a significant number of months now. Uh, they're preparing to go to war with South Korea and potentially the United States, maybe other countries, who knows. Um, but also China, I'm hearing some uh, reports that were coming out just as of today. We've got one here pulled up for you. This is on Forbes. It says China's nuclear weapon stockpile is growing faster than any other country. Okay, so we've got lots of reports talking about this too, that China's supposedly growing their nuclear arsenal as well. So clearly there's more than one threat here. It's not just Russia that NATO is trying to prepare with or prepare for, excuse me. But uh, you know, obviously they want to start deploying more of their nuclear weapons and get prepared for a potential nuclear conflict. So I've got more information I want to go over here with you today. We've got an article pulled up here on Politico. NATO should flex its nuclear muscles, Stoltenberg says. In Telegraph interview, NATO Secretary General also raises alarm about China's burgeoning uh, nuclear program. Okay, so let's read about this. NATO is considering deploying more of its nuclear weapons in the face of threats from Russia, China, and North Korea, the Defense Alliance's leader said. It is important that NATO communicate uh, the direct message that we, of course, are a nuclear alliance by taking more of its warheads out of storage NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg said in an interview with The Telegraph published on Sunday, I won't go into operational details about how many nuclear warheads should be operational and which should be restored, uh, stored, but we need to consult on these issues, he said. That's exactly what we are doing. Of the alliance's 32 member countries, three, the United States, France, and the United King Kingdom have nuclear weapons. Belgium, Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands and Turkey also host American tactical nuclear weapons on their soil. So something to think about is there's not too many countries, uh, considering the, even these NATO members, that don't currently have nuclear weapons hosted in their countries. So what are we going to start to see here? Are we going to start to see a lot more NATO countries have you know weapons, uh, nuclear weapons on their territory that would be deployed to be used in the event of a nuclear, uh, uh, nuclear war or something like that? Um, it's, it's definitely something I thought about for a long time that there's only a significant number of countries, only a few, um, that actually have, uh, nuclear weapons that are, that are U S nuclear weapons. Right. Um, so something that I think they might start working towards is maybe starting to deploy many of these nuclear weapons on more NATO nations. Um, we do know that, uh, Poland recently came out maybe just like a couple months ago, they were saying they were ready to start hosting, uh, American nuclear weapons on their territory, considering they were cl so close to Belarus, Ukraine, uh, Russia, the whole conflict going on over there. So I was just thinking about that, that that may be something they may be starting to do here or working towards. So the U.S. said it had 1,419 deployed strategic nuclear warheads in its arsenal in 20, March 2023. Russia opted not to release its own figures for 2023, but reported it had 1,549 in 2022. Together, the two countries account for about 90% of the world's nuclear arms inventory. Though NATO's goal is non-proliferation, a world where Russia, China, and North Korea have nuclear weapons and NATO does not is a more dangerous world, Stoltenberg said. Moscow criticized Stoltenberg's comments with Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov, labeling them nothing else but an escalation. Russian President Vladimir Putin never talks about nuclear weapons at his own initiative, as he takes this uh, the issue seriously, Peskov added, Moscow launched joint nuclear drills this week, last week, excuse me, with Belarus, where it began storing some of its nuclear warheads in 2023 in a move widely interpreted as a warning to the West not to interfere in its ongoing invasion of Ukraine. Stoltenberg also raised the alarm about China's burgeoning nuclear program, 
cautioning that before long, NATO may face something that it has never faced before, and that is two nuclear-powered uh, potential adversaries, China and Russia. The Stockholm International Peace Research Insti Institute, a Swedish think tank, said on Monday that China has around 500 warheads and may have deployed a small number of them for the first time. So just like what I was talking about, uh, China could have deployed some of these nuclear warheads already, and they're st apparently starting to expand their, their nuclear arsenal as well. So lots of countries are doing this. So it's starting to seem like we're starting to uh, see another arm nuclear arms race here where more countries are going to start building more nuclear weapons because they're all obviously preparing for the inevitable here, which is a nuclear war. I mean, I'm sure most of us hope that that never happens, but definitely the possibility of it is is very high, okay? Especially right now, considering that, uh, you know, the West is is uh, is basically at war with Russia right now, okay? They're, they're fighting a proxy war through Ukraine uh, against Russia, okay? They're giving them all these weapons. They're, they're getting more and more involved uh, every single month, every single day, basically. Um, and it's only continuing to worsen over here in Ukraine. And if Ukraine ever falls, I think that's when we will see an inevitable uh, conflict between NATO and Russia. And that could just end very badly. Okay, so just wanted to share this information for you again. We've got Jen Stoltenberg, the leader of NATO, coming out and saying that uh, they're in talks right now to deploy more of these nuclear weapons across uh, potentially more um, NATO nations, okay? That's what I'm thinking that they could do. But if they don't do that, I'm sure what they will do is deploy more nuclear warheads uh, in, in the nations they currently have them right now. So like, you know, the UK, uh, France, or any of these other countries that, that currently hold them right now, I think they will start to deploy more of them, uh, more facilities, and have them ready to go for obviously nuclear deterrence, but for an inevitable nuclear conflict at some point. So I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. This is definitely, uh, it's pretty scary news, but at the same time, um, that's the world that we're moving into right now. It's getting very dangerous out here, and we're, we're really starting to see major escalation with a lot of these countries, and uh, anything can happen. Who knows? So let me know what you think down below. That's going to be it for this update. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.